There's another battle brewing over oil, this one far from Alberta's oil sands. The Gulf of St. Lawrence has been untouched by drilling rigs, but now a 32-kilometer stretch of seabed known as Old Harry is attracting developers. It's thought to hold vast reserves of oil and natural gas. And the presence of some precious wildlife in the area has opponents saying, leave it alone. Ross Lord reports. When the BP spill released 200 million gallons of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico, it maimed or killed thousands of birds and other wildlife and contaminated more than 1,000 kilometers of coastline. Now there are growing fears Canada could be next because of a plan to start drilling for oil in a Gulf of St. Lawrence seabed known as Old Harry. Like the Gulf of Mexico, the St. Lawrence is crucial for fishing, and it's a vital feeding ground for the blue whale, the largest animal that ever lived. We feel as though uh, these, uh, these dangers presented by oil and gas exploration could spell the end of the blue whale and other endangered species in the Gulf. We are very afraid that our salmon, which already are now existing at the edge of extinction, may be wiped out. As a semi-enclosed body of water touching five provinces, environmentalists say the Gulf is vulnerable, especially if a spill happened in winter when it freezes over. The developer, Corridor Resources of Halifax, says there are up to a billion barrels of oil at Old Harry. Corridor plans to drill an exploration well as early as next year, saying it's confident that its Old Harry exploratory program will have no significant adverse environmental impacts. Those words don't reassure First Nations leaders. They want a drilling ban of 12 years and a lot more research. If there was a spill right now, what we're hearing from the specialists is that the corridor resources don't even have the proper equipment and they wouldn't even know what could happen. The federal government isn't convinced either. In October, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans said Corridor has underestimated the dangers, concluding there may be inadequate preparedness to deal with the consequences of an oil spill. The final say belongs to the Canada, Newfoundland and Labrador Offshore Petroleum Board. The board says it will consult with the public before making a decision. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.